What's going on guys? I'm Exotic Gaming and today we are back with some more Combat Master Mobile. Take a look at this. If I go over to the shop, it just says coming soon. I've got everything that you could possibly purchase in this game. In this video, I'm going to show you guys every single weapon that costs money in Combat Master Mobile, including things like the dual katana, which this thing I think costs around $100 if I'm not mistaken, in this game. So, some very expensive weapons. I'm going to show you guys all of them in this game. I want to give a massive shout-out to the developers. It wouldn't have been possible to do this video without their help. They actually gave me this account so I can actually make this video for you all today. So, hey, guys, I've actually been in talks with them about doing a potential giveaway in the future, either giving away an account like this or maybe even just giving away money so you guys can buy some of these very expensive sets. If you guys would like me to do that, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe down below. And yeah, I can actually see if I can make that happen. Thanks so much, guys. And uh, yeah, let me begin by showing you guys all of the weapons in Combat Master Mobile. All right, guys. So here we are now. I got rid of the face cam just because I feel like it's going to be a little bit more immersive if we're looking at all the different weapons, just like inspecting them and stuff like that. If I don't have my face covering the screen. But one thing I do want to mention is my levels have been reset. It's very sad. I'm only level 5. I think when they gave me the premium account, my levels just got immediately reverted back to the beginning. So yeah, I lost all of my levels. Very sad. F in the chat for all of my lost levels, guys. But sorry, that's besides the point. Let's actually begin by showing you guys the very first character and all of his weapons. This is Rush. He looks cool. He looks like a true motorcycling pro. He loves the color neon green, and you'll see that with all of his different weapons that he has in his sets. You have a really cool SMG called the MP5 Silenced Nitro in emerald green tracer rounds. I like it. It's a really cool looking gun. One of my favorite ones in this game. I made an entire video on it not too long ago. He also has a really cool knife, the K-Tech Stunt Driver, and then he also has the Lethal Acid Darts. And that's not all. There are two other weapons that we're going to be using just after we test out these three. And uh, yeah, he's got a really solid set. So I'm going to go jump into a speed hunt match really quickly because, as you can see, it's very fast. Uh, you can join in and out of matches very, very quickly. And you don't have to worry about people killing you when you're testing out all the different weapons. So yeah, this is the SMG. It's a solid gun. Extremely fast firing rate, just like what you would expect with an SMG. Extremely fast reload. Everything is fast with this thing. This is one of those weapons that you really want to just like, you know, press forward with. And you don't want to hang back with this type of weapon. Let's inspect it. Looks amazing, as you can see. Fantastic design on this gun. Just a good, solid MP5. Here's our acid darts. Can I get a long-range kill with it? Yes, I can. Oh, you have to leave a like on the video for that. That was beautiful. But we also have a knife. And this thing is arguably... One of the more overpowered things in this game, because knives, or any melee for that matter in this game, is a one-shot kill on players. As you can see, it could easily be uh, a little bit broken. So, yeah, let's just keep that in mind. Let's go inspect it. <laughs> I love that inspection. It looks great. And there's also two different inspections that you have. That's awesome. That looks so cool. I really, I, I just love that. That's really nice. I love that touch that they added. Makes it look really cool. You got two other weapons that we're going to be testing out right now, though. You have a sniper rifle, which is my favorite sniper in this game. The reason I love it is because it just has a really, really small sight. Like, you can use this thing at close range. It's perfect for quick scoping. The R7000 Turbo Boost. And then you also have a very solid pistol as well, which is the X5 Adrenaline. It looks great. I mean, there's uh, what else is there to tell you? It looks really, really cool. Let's go jump into a speed hunt match. And we're going to test these things out too. Real quick, before we get any further, I just wanted to let you all know that there is apparently somebody on TikTok who is pretending to be the developers of Combat Master Online. That's actually not them. That's just some random person that's pretending to be them and making promises that the developers don't intend on actually doing. So just don't follow that account. It's a fake account. And uh, yeah, spread awareness so nobody else is fooled by this person, all right? As you can see, you can quick scope with this thing very easily. It's a very fun looking thing. Um, you can even no scope if you really wanted to, but do be aware that obviously, you know, you're not going to be as accurate. So you can't really no scope pretty consistently all the way across the map. 
And I'm not that great at sniping yet in this game, as you can see. I miss a lot of my shots, but it's still fun. There's your reload, and here's your inspection. Very nice. Look at that. You even get a little slow motion reload when you use this thing. Bada bing, bada boom. Long range thing with this. Yes, another one. Easy. And here's our pistol. I actually think I like the inspection of the pistol the most out of all of uh, of Rush's weapons. It just looks really nice and, you know, it, the nice nice lighting. Nice lighting. I don't know. Is that is that kind of excessive, like, attention to detail? I'm not really sure, but there's your reload. It's a good pistol. Um, it's actually kind of overrated, or underrated, I should say, because um, I actually get great gameplay with it, even if I'm going up against somebody that has, you know, the dual-wielded weapons that came out quite recently. So, yeah, that's those weapons. That's Rush's set. Let's go to the next set. And the next set is Skullface's set. This is Skullface. A lot of people like this guy more than any of the other characters, and I can't blame them. It's a really cool-looking character, and his weapons are also very, very solid as well. He has a really neat-looking shotgun. This is the V500S Thunderbolt. Very cool. Now, I haven't really used shotguns too much in this game, so I'm not super experienced with them, but I can see why a lot of people really enjoy it. You also have the Karambit Talon, and uh, you have this thing right here, the Throwing Axe Beast. Here's the Throwing Axe. I don't think I inspected the uh, Karambit, so yeah, that's the Karambit. I have a Karambit in real life as well. It looks really, really cool. So let's go jump into a speed hunt match. I'll show you guys these weapons, inspect all of them. And uh, the shotgun does not necessarily have the greatest range in the world. Um, and th that's good because it is a shotgun. You wouldn't expect this thing to have good range. It's got a very powerful looking reload. Um, maybe not the smoothest looking reload out of all the weapons. Um, how accurate is it? Okay, so look at that. Yeah, three shots. And then finally we had enough shells that, ha that hit that person. But here's our inspection. I don't know if I like the inspection as much as some of the other weapons. I love the melee inspection, like this thing right here. Take a look at this. <laughs> That's cool! That's literally exactly what I do with my karambit. I just fling it around in my hand. Because it has that funny little hole on it. <laughs> ah, you love to see it. And of course, this thing is another one-shot kill melee on anybody that unfortunately meets its demise. Yes. And uh, here's the throwing axe. Can I get a throwing axe long range kill, maybe? Yes, I can. Throwing axe is cool. You get two of these things each time you uh, join into a match. And I'd imagine at some point in the future, whenever they add perks, maybe they'll add a perk or something like that where you can spawn in with another one. Oh, I completely missed that. That was... Oh, look at that. I picked it back up. There we go. I didn't miss it that time. <laughs> but yeah, that's that guy. Um... He does have a couple more weapons that we are going to be testing out. Uh, I believe he has a pistol, and he has a uh, another SMG. So let's go equip his SMG. This SMG is the MP5T Sledgehammer. This is powerful. Powerful looking thing. It says, this little fella packs a surprising punch. And then he has a, uh, a pistol. And the pistol is... What is it called? Is it the G18 Trace? No, it's the, uh, the Blood Letter. The 1911 Blood Letter. Very cool looking pistol. I think I like this pistol more than the X5 Adrenaline, just because it looks like a more, like, you know, like a devastating pistol. Like, the other one looks more like a little kid's gun. That one looks like a more devastating, like, you don't want to mess with it type of gun. This, uh, also, same way. I mean, you don't want to mess with this thing. It's got the holographic sights. It looks much more powerful than any of the other weapons that we've tested out so far. It, I think, has more ammo as well. So, you know, that's another great plus to anybody that is not very accurate and loves to spray and pray. This is the weapon that you're going to want to use because, well, you literally have, like, you know, ten times more shots before you run out of ammo. There we go. Missed that shot completely. Here's our inspection of the gun. Very, very nice looking weapon. And here's the pistol. What is this one called? The 1911 Blood Letter. Look at how fast it fires. I mean, for an M1911, this thing is just like, it goes crazy. Crazy mode. Seems like you're you're a little bit less accurate with this thing, though, so that's one thing to keep in mind. I like hip fire, though. You know, and that's something I would have never said for a pistol in pretty much any other video game, but, uh, yeah. Here's our inspection of the pistol. 
Nice looking gun. You love to see it. I like that little slow motion reload type thingy there. Very, very nice. Let's go leave. And we're going to be testing out the next set of weapons. And those are Alyssa Lynx's. Alyssa Lynx is pretty cool. She's not my favorite character in this game. I like the red pants. The red pants are cool, but I personally am a fan of Rush and Skullface more. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Which of these three characters is your absolute favorite? So Alyssa Lynx has a couple of different weapons here. I don't actually remember the, uh, the exact one, so we're going to have to just click through a couple of them just to see if we find it. I know she has a... Uh, ah, yes, yeah, she has this thing. The MP5-2 Fury. This one is the coolest looking SMG. In my personal opinion, I don't know if you guys would agree, but I think that one's my favorite. And it also has the Ruby Tracer rounds, which is awesome looking. And um, she has, I believe, a cool pistol, which is the, where is it? Yes, the G18 Tracer. I mean, that's a cool looking pistol. You can't deny that, right? Yeah, I know you can't. Um, she also has the Kunai Kite. I have no idea why it has kites as the name. Is that like a, the actual name of a type of gun? I don't have a gun like this in real life. Let's just be very clear about that. I don't have every of these weapons, but uh, yeah. Um, let's go test out her weapons here. I haven't even gotten to use her weapons before, so this is literally my first time seeing them. It reminds me a lot of the, uh, the one that Rush has. And, you know, that makes sense because they're all MP5s. The one that's just very different is Skull Faces. Wow, really fast reload. Look at that. Wow, very, very nice. And here's our inspection. That's such a cool looking gun. You know, if I were to buy one of these sets, I would probably buy this one. Just because it looks coolest to me. It's my personal favorite. Oh, I missed the throwing knife. Oh, look at that cool little tracer thingy that we saw there. Long range. I redeemed myself. Beautiful. One more. Wait. I think there's something over here, right? Oh, no. The rabbit's gone. Where'd the rabbits go? Hello? Oh, I have no idea where they went. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the. Oh, yes, there's one right here. Here we go. Beautiful. And here is our pistol. Look at that. I love the little red dot sight on the pistol. That just makes this pistol automatically better than the other ones. Yeah, this is the set that you're going to want to get. If you want to get those... You're choosing between those three sets. This is a really, really fun set. And uh, let's go inspect it. It's, it's just the same type of inspection as the one that Rush has. But, you know, I'm not complaining. Very nice. But this gun, this gun is just awesome. What a cool looking gun. I love it so much. All right. Now we have a couple more weapons from her sets. I believe she has a sniper rifle and she has a melee. So let's go equip her sniper rifle very quickly. Uh, she has the R7000 Predator. The Cobra Strike and a couple of these other ones um, we're going to be testing out just a little bit later. We're actually not going to test out the Cobra Strike because this is something that everybody can get for free right now. There is a set that you can buy in the store for free. So I don't think there's much of a point to test out that one if everybody can get it, right? But look at that sniper rifle. What an awesome looking sniper rifle. That is so cool looking. I cannot wait to test that thing out. And then there's also a, uh, a knife, I believe. Where's the knife? It is the, yes, the Balasong Ripper. I have one of these in real life as well. I have all of these things in real life. Oh, God. All right. Well, let's go test out this sniper rifle. I've never tested it out before. Much bigger zoom in compared to the one that... Um, uh, Rush has in his set, so you know, this is one where you can actually hang back and uh, Oh my god, I can't really quick scope. I'm so bad at quick scoping. Oh, please forgive me guys I'm so bad. I'm so sorry, but yeah, you could like hide right here behind this rock and you know Hit anybody that you happen to see like these guys that are over there This is a more longer range sniper rifle as opposed to the other one that just has the iron sight Here's the inspection of the sniper rifle. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Absolutely no complaints on the design of this weapon here. Can I get a long range with this? Oh, I completely missed that one. That was embarrassing. But I got it that time. And here is the ballast song. I have this thing in real life. Also known as, I believe, a butterfly knife. Aren't they the same thing? 
I think this is just the uh, the more official name of a butterfly knife. But it's fun, and it looks really cool when it's in your hand. You feel like some type of ninja guy when you're using this thing. <laughs> I love it! But we actually are going to be using the uh, the more ninja weapons in just a second. Um, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, that's dangerous, dude. That is really dangerous. I've never learned how to do that with a butterfly knife at all. Oh my god, you could have hurt your hand, dude. Please be careful. Wow, look at that. That is a that is a big weapon inspection. Very impressive. All right, so with that being said, that is testing out each of these different characters here. Um, I might as well just equip Viper and just show you guys a different character here. This is one that everybody can get, though. All right, this epic character, so it's not really that important compared to the other ones. There are a couple of other weapons that we have yet to test out, though. One of them is the Phoenix Rise Sniper. This one's going to be awesome. And then uh, I believe there is a new, yes, the Balasong Phoenix Flame, a different type of butterfly knife. And then what is it? Is it the uh, the Shuriken Golden? No, the Harpoon Fiery Fury. I said Fiery Fury. I'm so sorry. I'm a little bit tired in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, let's go test out these things right here. Ooh, look at this. Oh, so it has a little bit of a different... Um, scope than the other one, but it, it reminds me very similar to um, Alyssa Lynx's weapon. So, you know, if you like hers more than this one, and I personally think I do, I think I like the red and white because it's a little bit more eye-catching than this orange color. But don't get me wrong, the orange is cool, so if you do like it, it's perfectly fine. Um, I just think I like the red and the white one a little bit better than this one. Oh, but it does look cool. I didn't really see the phoenix bird on it. I don't know, man. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to leave it to the commenters to decide which one is better. That was so close. I, I need to just do a little bit higher. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we got a kill with that thingy. <laughs> and let's go use this Balisong. Which I can't hit anybody with. Oh, God. Hi, rabbits. You like Balisong? Yeah, you do. I know you do. Dumb little rabbits. That's all I gotta say. Okay. Let's do the inspection. But you guys already saw that type of inspection with the other thing. So, the two different inspections that you get. The standard butterfly one and then the other cool one where he spins it around on his finger. Very nice. But there are even more weapons to this set as well. The Phoenix set, I think is what it's called. Or like Phoenix Rising set. Um, the Phoenix guy has this. The dual MAC-10 Phoenix wings. Oh my god. I can't wait to test these things out. I have used them just a little bit when I picked them off um, the dead body of somebody that I actually managed to kill. Um, but I don't believe... Oh, yes, look at that. You even have the Eagle Blazing Fire. So you even have another pistol with that set as well. Though I do believe this set costs a lot of money, so keep that in mind. I don't think it's probably worth the price tag that it has. Now, the cool thing with these Uzis is you can go hip fire, And as you can see... Oh, look! That's the special, that's the special Easter Egg Reload that it has. As you can see, you can go hip fire all the way across the map if you really want to. You don't really necessarily need to scope in. Um, because it's still very accurate, even if you don't. But if you do scope in, you get this wild-looking scope. Look at that! That's so cool! That's such a neat-looking scope. And I missed that. Oh, no. Oh, no, I missed. You guys didn't see that. But it's got a really cool-looking reload animation, and, uh, the inspection looks really nice as well. I love that. You know, you could literally screenshot right here. Hold on, let me show you. Right there. Screenshot it. And uh, that's perfect. That's literally a perfect screenshot for your thumbnail. Here's your pistol. Similar to some of the other ones that we've tested out. So, you know, not really that different. But it's, you know, a good, powerful Desert Eagle. And I would imagine this is going to be a very solid thing for, you know, closer range matches and stuff like that. I feel like it would be kind of hard to spot enemies from super far away with this thing. But then again, you know, you don't really have any reduction in accuracy with these things so i mean you know it's it's cool to say the least look at that look at that inspection that is such a nice looking what inspection wow i love that that's so cool oh my gosh 
All right, well, that's the Phoenix sets, and I believe there's one final set to test out. Um, I'm gonna go use Rush because he's my favorite character when I actually test the set out. So we got one final set, and this final set has the Dual Mac 10 Golden Dragons. The Golden Dragons are freaking awesome, okay? And uh, yeah, I don't believe there's any other SMG that I have to use. All these other ones are, you know, coming soon. And that thing just says classified. I don't have the classified thing yet. There's no assault rifles yet, but that's going to be a really fun one to actually use. And there's no, uh, you know, none of these unless you get to level 49 if you test that thing out. I've tested all these things out. And, uh, yeah, I believe the only one that we have to use now is the, uh, the dual Mac 10 Golden Dragons. And have I used the Shuriken Golden Stars? I have not. I have ninja shurikens in real life as well. So, yeah, we have to use that. There's the kunai. I believe the kunai is just a standard... Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing as this thing, the kunai kite. The kunai kite is cooler than the standard kunai. So, I mean, you know, obviously I would probably choose the kunai kite. Yeah, I've used all of these things. And then finally, the last thing that we need to use is the melee dual katana. We've saved this thing for the very end. Because I've used all of these other ones, shown all of these to you guys on camera. And, oh, and then the grenade launcher. You know what? Before we use the katana, I'm going to just show you guys the grenade launcher. Everybody has seen the grenade launcher probably already if you've played this game for any decent amount of time. But yeah, this thing is insane. These guns, as you would expect, based off of what they look like. Look at that reload. Again, you can literally hip fire all the way across the map if you really wanted to. Um, but if you would like to zoom in with a scope, you can do this. Although, I honestly think I would still prefer, uh, hipfire. Because it seems a little bit easier. Here's the inspection. And then you can get your cool screenshot like that. That looks awesome. You're a ninja shuriken. Let's see if I can get a, a long range. Or maybe that. Is that good? Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. And then, uh, the grenade launcher, guys. Am I gonna die if I blow myself up with this? <laughs> no! Yeah, so the grenade launcher is... It's kind of broken in this game. That's the one thing that I actually am a little bit annoyed whenever I see somebody use. None of the other weapons really annoy me. Like, if somebody kills me with a sniper rifle, I'm like, okay, you know what? You're good at the game. It's not really that big of a deal, but, you know. This thing is a little bit broken, so this thing might be something that they want to tweak with just a little bit. But, um, yes, now we can finally use our katana and finish off this video with the katana, with a bang, with the best freaking weapon in this entire game. That's maybe a bit of an overstatement, but you know, it's still cool. I love the katana. It's really, really neat. And I just want to be sure I haven't missed anything of value. That's the key word there, because you know, the MP5 Desert Storm is something that everybody can get. So yes, I think I've used everything. Let's go jump into Speed Hunt and let's finish up this video with the katanas. Here you go. I think these things cost $99, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, you're not going to really see too many people using these things. <laughs> Look at this. I'm all the way up on top. They did not see it coming, the rabbits. I feel so bad. But, yeah, I mean, that basically covers everything, I think. I, uh, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Just seeing all of the different weapons in this game. I, I wanted to do this video for a while, so I'm really happy I got to do that. And maybe I can do this again in the future when there is more weapons added in, whenever they add assault rifles and other stuff like that. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like. Leave a like for that. Leave a like for this long-range kill that I'm about to get. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. If I find it, I'll do it again. But yeah, leave a like, guys. That really would mean a lot. Um, let's me know that you guys want to continue seeing videos on Combat Master Mobile. So sad. I don't think there's... I, I, I lost my Ninja Shuriken. God dang it. But yeah, um, leave a like, subscribe down below for more Combat Master videos, and I will see you all in the next episode. Oh yeah, let's go inspect it. I almost forgot to inspect it. <laughs> oh yeah. Thanks, guys.